New Hogwarts Legacy rumours recently came to light online, providing some juicy details on the highly anticipated open world Harry Potter game. Could Hogwarts Legacy be inspired by Ghost of Tsushima? Well, this huge leak seems to suggest so. Keep watching to find out more. Have you been keeping up with Hogwarts Legacy updates? Are you excited about the game? Make sure to let us know in the comments below, and if you haven't done so already, please make sure to like and subscribe, it really helps us out a lot. Thanks. Here you will meet lifelong friends and grow into your own magical abilities in the classrooms of the world's most talented professors. So what is Hogwarts Legacy? Well, it's a Harry Potter game that got announced back in 2020 and, according to the official details, here's what we know so far. At time of recording, the game will be released this year in 2022. It's an immersive open world action RPG that will be available on PS5, PS4 and PS4 Pro, Xbox Series X and One as well as PC. It's set in the 1800s in the world of wizards, so the game is technically not linked to the books of Harry Potter. According to all current reports, the game is not a new story from JK Rowling, but it is set in the magic universe that she built. You'll be able to choose your own Hogwarts house from the beginning of the game, and you can choose different companions throughout the game. And finally, the game will include trans-inclusive character customization by allowing you to choose your own pronouns. Now let's move on to the recently leaked information about the game. According to Retro Reconnoiteur on YouTube, the content creator has been hearing a few things behind closed doors about the universe of the game and some of its gameplay. Now remember, none of this has been officially confirmed, so please do take it with a pinch of salt. Allegedly, the team of developers of Hogwarts Legacy were heavily inspired by the open world design of Ghosts of Tsushima, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, and The Last of Us Part II. The game will also feature multiple regions that players will be able to explore, and at the moment, it's confirmed that Hogwarts Castle, Forbidden Forest, and Hogsmeade Village are included. But from the trailers, we can also see Azkaban Prison, so there could definitely be a lot more areas that aren't announced. We'd love to see Diagon Alley or the Ministry of Magic. There could even be new areas or regions that haven't been introduced in the books since the game is set in the 1800s. There is a larger world beyond these walls. A world filled with dangers you can't yet imagine. An ancient knowledge long gone from this world. We definitely think that the game is looking to make players emotionally invested in the story. It's through the implementation of different regions and towns. Within those towns live super unique NPCs which you'll be able to interact with. They'll all have like specific behaviours and it's something we've seen a lot more in recent open world games. Each town feels different and it really gives the feeling of a living, breathing town. This also suggests that the NPCs could have different dialogue and interact with players differently depending on which storyline you've chosen or which companions that you choose in the game. The core gameplay of Hogwarts Legacy involves enemy camps and dungeons. Now, this is something that I personally am super excited about, because if the combat is anything like Ghost of Tsushima or The Last of Us Part 2, then hopefully there'll be different ways that you can tackle these enemy camps. Yeah, sure, you could go in all guns blazing, or you could stealthily attack from the shadows. Well, the choice is up to you. Apparently, there's a whole separate design team that's focusing on designing the dungeons, and this is the same with the enemy camps. To me, this suggests like enemy camps and dungeons are two completely separate elements. Maybe enemy camps will be dotted around the massive open world, and the dungeons could have completely separate gameplay from enemy camps, where, like Breath of the Wild, you clear out different small areas in the dungeon until you reach a big open area to fight a boss or do some special puzzle to advance further. We're super excited about this new open world game, and I'm sure a lot of Harry Potter fans are thinking the same. According to account NGT on Twitter, there may be an upcoming trailer coming in February or March that'll show a bit more of the abilities and skills of different classes. If this is true, we're definitely looking forward to seeing the new trailer from Warner Bros. Now again, these new leaks aren't confirmed by official sources, so take that as you will. 
As you may know, sometimes elements of a game get taken out weeks before release for whatever reason. But nonetheless, what do you guys think about this potential new information? Is there anything you guys would like to see from Hogwarts Legacy that hasn't been mentioned? Make sure to subscribe for more gaming news content and leave us a like if you enjoyed the video. Let us know what you think in the comments below. I've been Sarah from Gamebyte and you've been wonderful. Thanks for watching.